Yeah, I mean, everyone on the team were, like, they were all phenomenal leaders. And that's one of the things that our coaches looked at. Like, there are a lot of great lacrosse players out there, but there's a lot more to that. And so one thing that they looked for were people who could lead by example and and be good teammates. And so there were a ton, but I think one person that sticks out to me a lot who's just been so such an incredible person and um, is Cookie Carr. She actually played at UNC, but I think she graduated in 2010, so she's a little bit older than me. Um, but she's been a part of... I think that was her second World Cup, but she's still on the U.S. team and fighting for a spot on next World Cup's team. So she could potentially play in three, but I could be wrong. This might be her fourth. I don't know. Um, but anyway, she is just such a great leader and is always checking in on us, too. Like, not just on the field is she leading us. It's outside. We haven't seen each other for so long, and Cookie's always checking in on me, asking how I am, and, and getting to know us as people, not just as players. And I think that's really, really important for chemistry on the field and also just to develop those relationships outside of lacrosse and on the field. And so she's just someone who's always stuck out to me as an incredible leader. Awesome. Yeah, I think, honestly, just talking to kids about just being a great teammate, there's so many different things. And from being a leader to a person, maybe even a player, it's not – it's not a bad thing in any way. Is there anything mm -hmm. you sort of tell kids that you sort of look for to be a great teammate or to be a great leader? Yeah, I think that one thing that I always say is control what you can control. I think that there are a lot of things that happen, not only in lacrosse, but in life that are completely out of our control and that cause stress and negativity. But what's the point of thinking negatively about something when it's completely out of your control and there's nothing you can do besides try and think positive about it. So I think that's one thing. Um, and then also like one of the things that you can control is your work ethic. Another thing that you can control is your attitude. And those are two things that are so, so important, two qualities that are really important for great leaders to have. And I think that if you can control those things, then it can set you up for success in the future.